Good morning, or good afternoon, I should say. We're having a bit of a slow start. But one of the critical parts today is we got some van chores to do. I need to go get the van an oil change and I want to redo the undercoating, which means I need to pressure wash it first. I also want to try and find a swivel base for the front passenger seat so that we can have more seating area while we're parked. I'm here. Wish me luck. Let's see how it goes. Yep. No RVs whatsoever. However, there's a big truck lot next door. Same thing, but just trucks. Apparently they have. Right, I'm at the truck lot. Let's see what they got. Now, um, Edmonton is known for not putting salt on their roads. I'm hoping this will translate into finding parts that aren't completely rusted. Um, yeah, the guy told me I could take a look take a look around, see what's up, but he doesn't seem optimistic that I'll find anything. Yeah, so this place definitely specializes in big transport trucks. Not have, not looking like there's gonna be much in RV parts here. Well, it doesn't look like this is the place. Getting an oil change now, and uh, I would do it myself, but like I just don't have the facilities in the van to carry like buckets for all the oil and the recycling of it and all this sort of stuff. And then it's just easier to go to a shop and get it done. So that's what I'm doing. I'm probably gonna skip on the undercoat for now, though. Yeah. Really, really excited about this. Uh, apparently, every Thursday night, the University of Alberta does a free like telescope viewing night and we're gonna go see some stars and the moon and stuff and that's really cool and I'm really excited. the last 45 minutes driving around this campus trying to find parking that didn't cost an arm and a leg. It's the most expensive parking of any campus I've ever gone to, especially considering it's a university I've never even heard of. I'm sure they do wonderful things, but I've never even heard of this university. Starbucks closed us at like six? Why have a Starbucks? Do people actually school here? Because, like, I did the schools till, like, 1 a.m. when I was in school. I just never slept when I was at school. That's because I'm a lot dumber than Shelby is. Took me a lot more schooling to school. What's the echo about? How does oh, that yeah, work? yeah, so it's just the shape of the dome, basically. The dome's convenient because it needs to be rotated, so we can open it to like the part of the sky we're looking at. And then just because it's a dome, oh, you know, basically your sound sort of bounces perfectly off where you are vertically. It goes directly across and down. So it's like this weird sort of acoustic phenomenon. Yeah, I'm, I'm in your zone right now. Yeah. I can yeah, hear it perfectly. You can right hear here. us fairly well because we're right across from you, right? Yeah, if directly. You stand in the, you stand in the middle, it's like a microphone. It's really cool. There was a mall in uh, Toronto that had this dome, and you could really creep other people's conversations. Which one? You're at the mall? <laughs> Actually up in this neighborhood a couple days ago and I didn't bring my camera because I know I did bring my camera but no memory card so um, and we went to a coffee shop and it was an amazing experience except for the fact that they screwed up orders and they screwed up stuff and then they felt really bad and they were gonna give us like a gift certificate for the place and I was like no I'll never be back here now we're here Shelby's giving me a big I told you so <laughs>
Sugar Bowl is this wicked combination of like a student bar slash not student bar, maybe like a grad bar and then like a cafe. It's got a really cool hip vibe to it. And they had freaking chicken and waffles. And I don't know, like Americans, you guys will get spoiled. You get chicken and waffles all the time everywhere you go. But in Canada, you really have to go out of your way to find chicken and waffles. This is the first time Shelby ever had chicken and waffles. She is freaking down with it. It was good. It was really good. And we also had Alley Cat beer, which is an Edmonton special. It's only from Edmonton. And Shelby is now hooked. So apparently we got to go hunt that down Alley too. Cat Apricat. That's it. That's what the name of the beer was. So, uh, like yeah. That. And that's it. We're, uh, we're heading home. Good night. Yep, 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 y